Hey everyone, welcome back to Survival Addiction. Today we will be unbagging Going Gear for May 2021. Okay, so I just got this in the mail today. And usually I get it earlier in the month. Um, but the last two have been a little bit later in the month. So I'm not just I'm not sure if they just had to wait until they got certain items. Okay, so let me pull the list out. Okay, so the very first thing is this Trail Butter Dark Chocolate. Okay. So it is dark chocolate, coffee, and almond butter blend. So it's gluten-free, all natural, and this is about 200 calories. And it has 15 milligrams of caffeine and five grams of sugar, not five grams of sugar five grams of protein. So yeah, I'm gonna have to use this on one of like my shelter build days. I think that would be pretty nice. Um, it does say it's slow burning. So that's that's really nice. Um, it's nice that the calories last a while. Okay. And they say that is two dollars. I feel like that's pretty fair. Um, Personally, I would just eat it straight out of the package, but you could easily spread it on bread. Uh, there's a little tear right there. I, I might even just try it before the end of this video, just, just to give it a shot. Okay, so these towels, they are multi-purpose, wickable, washable, and super absorbent. Okay, so I've never tried these, but from what I understand is you put a little bit of water on it and it expands. Okay, well, let's try it. See how it goes. Alright guys, had to read up on this a little bit because I've never used one of these. Okay. So they say that this is easier to unravel if it's wet, so we're going to try it. I don't want to get it too wet. Okay. Okay, so it definitely is unraveling better. When it was dry, it was a lot harder. Okay. Try and get this side wet too. So these kind of remind me of like um, the towels that you use to like work on your car. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Okay. So yeah, everything I was reading about these um, had lots of good things to say. Um, they're kind of small, but they ring out easily, so I, I'm actually pretty excited. I think I'm going to put these in some of my bug out bags, because I, I have my bi microfiber towels, but doesn't hurt to have a little bit more. Okay, so this concerns me a little. I don't know if that's mold, but I'm kind of hoping it's not. Okay. Sorry guys, it's taking just a sec. I'm just, I'm worried I'm gonna like rip it. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah guys, that, that looks like mold to me. So, that's a little nerve-wracking for me. Because um, I'm not going to use it if it's moldy. I'm kind of hoping this is like just a one-time thing though. Oh, okay, thank goodness that's not mold. Okay. 
Alright guys, it's just a logo. Scared the crap out of me. I thought for sure that it was like mold or something. Okay. So yeah, see what I mean? It's kind of small. Um, but it's pretty stretchy. It's not weak like a paper towel. Um, it is cloth based. But yeah, I, I'm really excited for these. Maybe I'll throw one of these in my EDC kit. Okay, so towels, butter. Okay, so this third item is probably the main item in the box. So it's a knife. It's the Hydra Knives Buzzard Black Vulture. Well, and then, of course, a going gear sticker. It's pretty normal. Okay, so this is a fixed blade. So there's some hair cord that comes with it, and then a patch, and then you have this knife. Okay. Okay, so the knife has this Kydex sheath, and it's like textured. It's pretty thick, and it does look like it has multi-uses, so this is for hex bits, um, then it says that there's also wrench slots, fire nick, so yeah, there's a, there's quite a few things. Um, they say this is like a crown bit style, but this side is not really a crown bit shape. It's fine. Okay, so it doesn't say what type of steel it is, but they do say that this knife goes for $96.95. So this knife alone makes up the box, box's price. Because the box, um, I believe is $59. So that's like a $40, $40 value. So that's, that's pretty cool. This does feel like a very sturdy, oh, you know what, it's right here. So it is 1.4116 stainless steel. So I've heard of this, um, never used it, and let's let's give it a shot. So they actually have this little paper, and they call it their like cutting test proof. So I feel like this is probably gonna cut great. Yeah, it's plenty sharp. Um, I have lots of fixed blades, so I was kind of hoping for another folder, but that's okay. So overall, I would say that this box is not exactly what I was expecting for an EDC box, um, but it's still pretty good stuff. Like this, I can use while I'm out doing camping and whatever. This is great for EDC and bug out bags. And then this is just great for both. Um, so overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Not quite exactly what I was expecting for an EDC box or bag, but it's fairly good. But anyways, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me at Survival Addiction. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, bye.